Hey guys, Ben Glenn here, Building Success Brick by Brick, coming to you with another helpful video. So with all of this knowledge and with as many people having ADHD in the world, most people know a little bit. And, and most people know the same things. You ask people, what do you know about ADD? They're going to say, well, they're easily distracted. Uh, they're very energetic. And they love shiny stuff. But one of the things that gets overlooked because of the energy, because of the, the distractions, because of our attention issues, is the fact that the people with ADHD struggle with being impulsive. We're very impulsive. There's a little voice inside of our brain that sends our brain little messages. And it, and it talks to us. We all have it. You see, I believe that most people that have that little voice, they've got a little filter. Let's call this a filter. And when that little voice says something, it goes through. It filters it through this process. And when it comes out to the other end, then, then that normal non-ADD person comes to the conclusion on what kind of a decision to make based on what this little voice said. Those of us that have ADHD, we roll without the filter. And so those of us that have ADHD, we've got to kind of create something. It's kind of like the, the movie Apollo 13 and they needed to find a way to create a filter out of nothing to get all of the, the carbon dioxide out of their little pods so that they had enough oxygen to get back to Earth. My brain is like that race car. That's how a psychologist once described it and it's a perfect description. And when your brain is moving that fast, guess what? You don't have time to slow down to go through... 10 questions to help filter an idea, a thought, or an impulsive, you know, action. So what do we have? Maybe time for one, just one. And so, the one thing, the filter that I have, that may or may not work for you, it works for me, not every time, but 90% of the time, which is better than 80%, is this. When that little voice says, hey, that's shiny, or that looks fun, or go do that. I try to filter it through one question, and that's it. Is this going to help somebody, or is it going to hurt somebody? And that includes me. Not wanting to go to that doom and gloom and just say, hey, don't be impulsive. You gotta stop being impulsive. You gotta become more self-aware, which is important. The question I was asking myself is, there's silver lining to being impulsive. And, and then I remember this word, spontaneous. Spontaneity is basically being impulsive. And so why is it there are some times when we do things, somebody might call it spontaneity, but then there are times when we do things, somebody might call it impulsivity. When you hear the word impulsivity, they're being impulsive. That's not a good description. That's not a fun adjective that you want somebody to use and describe in your actions. How do I know that? From experience. I've only ever known this in myself, but now that I've got a third grader who's my clone, and you guys have heard me say that many times, I'm getting to see her. And she makes a lot of impulsive decisions. She does a lot of things where I'm always asking her, Annie, what were you thinking? But then there are times where I see her do things that you would say, that's not impulsive, that's spontaneous. Because it's good. The results are good. I've seen this kid go tackle the dishwasher and unload it and load it up without me even, even asking. Those of you parents that are watching this video, yeah, miracle. You, you see that and you're like, uh, what, what, what's going on? And it's just because something inside of her, that little voice said, hey, do this because it's a nice thing to do. I don't want to squelch that. And that's one of the great things about people that have ADHD is that they've got that capacity to be spontaneous and that sponta spontaneity is the spice of life. But in order to have those moments of spontaneity be embraced for us to fully enjoy them and the essence of what they bring, those of us that have ADHD and those of us that don't need to encourage us that have ADHD to create that filter. Start with that one question. Is what I'm about to do good for me? Is it good for the people around me? And let that springboard into more questions to help you make that right choice. And like I said, you're going to fail a lot until you figure it out. And sometimes it takes 5, 10, 15. My wife was here, she'd say 30 years. And hopefully like Apollo 13, we will land successfully and safely because we did figure it out. 
Hey guys, this is Ben Glenn, and as always, love, peace, and hair grease, reminding you to do one thing, keep moving forward. God bless.